During the course of the last 30 years or so, the elephants of the Saabi sands have become habituated to having us and our vehicles around them. They behave completely naturally to the extent that we can now drive into the middle of a herd and they will behave as they would as if we weren't there. The other day, Scott had an experience, however, with an enormous elephant bull who crossed the line. Have a look at this. He is very, very close. He's pushing his trunk against the car. You can feel the car moving. Hey, 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 stop that. Stop that. That's unacceptable. Lots of you are asking whether Dave and I need to change our pants. Um, yeah, I'll speak on behalf of myself. Probably yes. I was, I was, I was concerned at the end there. A few days after Scott's rather hairy experience, we were driving down the road and that same elephant popped out in front of us. He turned to face us, flopped his trunk over his tusks and started walking towards us. So I turned round and reversed slightly just to make him stop and he did, he reacted and then we drove slowly forward and he followed us with a typical must swagger. And I repeated the process of reversing towards him and then driving away five or six times before he eventually disappeared off into the bush. Even last year, the same elephant was encountered and he tends to be a little bit naughty when it comes to the vehicles. Come on, mister. Uh -uh. Come on. At the moment, I think it's curiosity, but I think it's learned curiosity. I think people have probably just been a little bit too blasé with them in the past. Wow. <laughs> Dave and myself bumped into him this morning at the start of the safari, right in front of Vuyatela camp. Yes, you're very big. Hey! There we go. As I saw him sort of changes body language, changes stature. He was coming towards us. I stopped the car and I whacked the side of the car. I said, hey! So it's very important to read elephant behavior like that. And now he'll think twice before playing with a car again. So a lot of those situations that people get into that become dangerous can be avoided by understanding elephants. Now, my opinion on this particular Eddie Ball's behavior is exactly the same as Brent's, and that is there's no aggression in what he's doing, but he has learned a certain degree of curiosity. And what he's done is he's actually started going past that personal space barrier that most animals have with the vehicle. Stop it. This is where a wild animal becomes dangerous, when it, it, it loses that sort of, not natural fear, but that sort of natural wariness uh, of a vehicle or of a human on foot. Now, I know there's a lot of videos and stuff out on the internet and certain reserves and very close to here who let elephants touch their trackers, let elephants touch their cars, which is an amazing experience, yes, but something will go wrong. It's not, it's not if, it's when, uh, and people get very scared and some of the people might not understand elephant behavior or, or, or know what they're doing. I'm talking about, the, obviously, about the, the guests, not the guides and someone screams, shouts, moves in the wrong way, and that elephant gets even more agitated and someone gets hurt. And of course, we don't want that. He's a beautiful big bull in his prime. So just teach him a little bit of etiquette. 